As we have mentioned, it was presidential history, American history unfolding live on TV, but it was also, as even some Republicans now privately and at least one publicly concedes, a banner day for the Democratic president himself. So how did those two factors play out in news coverage? For obvious reasons, all three news networks went live with the exchange, but as you will see, Fox cut away early so that Fox people could talk about the history Fox viewers were no longer seeing. They even teased that they would have live coverage of GOP reaction to it, which was somewhat odd given that that was the GOP reaction to it, their own live back and forth with the president. Here is what you saw and didn't see, depending on which network you watched and whether or not they trusted you to decide. Uh, Mr. President, a point of clarification, what's in the Better Solutions book are all the legislative proposals. No, I understand that. that. I've actually read your bill. Well, that's President Obama. He is meeting with House Republicans in Baltimore, answering a bunch of questions, everything from energy to health care. Uh, the president at times being a little bit combative and, and supporting his. I mean, he did he acknowledge a couple of mistakes along the way, but, but much like he did in the State of the Union, has very much held firm to the beliefs uh, in, in what his administration has done. But they had to go then because Glenn Beck's chalkboard is so much more vital to the democracy. C-SPAN has offered, and I imagine we would do it, and I, maybe even Fox would do it, CNN would do it, has offered to, to show the, the rematch. Uh, presumably at some point, Obama versus 140 Republicans gets a little repetitive. And there would at some point necessarily be a return match in which it would be 140 Democrats against which Republican? Which Republican steps into the arena the way that president did today? Nobody can, but I mean, nobody can just because he's the president, no matter who he is. But this, I mean, this is how it wasn't like question time in, in Britain. I mean, because mm -hmm. not only is that something where both the opposition and the and the leader's own party gets to ask questions, but they expect it there. And part of the way, part of the reason that you you rise through the ranks in the British parliamentary system is because you're good at this. And what we realized today was that Republicans, at least with this president, at least in this environment, granted nobody's done it before, but they weren't good at this. They it's really useful. didn't nail anything. Yeah. Nail them on anything. Um, the, the, the impact of this on the Democratic Party is what do you expect? This is energizing to Democrats. Uh, it's energizing to Democrats to have, him give a, have the president give a well-regarded State of the Union. I would say that it is even it is doubly energizing uh, to see him go out in that town hall that he did yesterday in Tampa and then see him go out today just sort of doubling and tripling down on this idea that he is not only confident but that he is a fighter, that he's got a lot of fight in him and that he intends to win the fights that he will pick. I think this is there's a sense among Democrats and among liberals in particular that uh, the president and Democrats have got their mojo back. And uh, any way to estimate how the Republicans would react to this? And we've seen some answers to this as if, well, he just stuck to his script and that was it, and move on, nothing to see here. But what w inside those Republican circles, what would the reaction be? Well, you've seen them try to spin it today as we got lectured today by President Obama. Uh, if that's going to be the way they try to dismiss this, I think they're going to need a second. Uh, they're going to need a second beat. Well, maybe not lectured, but certainly schooled. And on that note, to bring you as much as possible of the honest exchange we saw this afternoon, this free form. Format will continue for yet another hour with Rachel and Chris and myself. And included in that hour, the accusations that the president is not listening to the public about the public option. Mr. Obama also responds to the quality of the ideas and proposals the Republicans have themselves offered up. President's Question Time continues on MSNBC.